So as we poke our noses even further into the possibilities that future technologies hold, how about we take a deep dive into the world of motorcycles and the direction that these machines are taking into our shiny new future? Come on, motor. And while some of these motorcycles may look suspect, let's keep our minds open and our eyes on the road. From a fidget spinner with a snazzy light show to a one-wheeled hipster mobile, here are 20 future motorcycles you must see. Number 20. Real Tron Light Cycle If your goal in life is to draw attention to yourself while also pretending to be in a science fiction movie, then this motorcycle is the answer to all of your prayers. The 2010 Disney movie Tron Legacy may not have set the world on fire, but it did give plenty of people the desire to ride a Tron light cycle, and thanks to some particularly keen designers and engineers, there have been several attempts to make that fantasy into a street-legal motorbike. And it's finally been achieved! This crazy-looking motorcycle was designed by artist Daniel Simon. He created blueprints for the unique bike and put them forward to Parker Brothers concepts to be made into a reality. The custom motorcycle would be built around the Xenon, an electric model bike with top speeds of around 70 miles per hour. All the things that make this such a unique machine. And likely what draws the fans to it are the electroluminescent strips on its rims and the super aero carbon fiber body kit that's built around its steel chassis. It looks the business and the light show when it's in full effect, and it's what fans have been jonesing for the whole time. The fortunate few owners of this machine can enjoy such shiny futuristic features as customizable lights and colors, as well as a thumbprint ignition and built-in iPad. It looks a little bit like a fidget spinner, but don't let that put you off. Especially if you have a measly $55,000 burning a hole in your pocket. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The BMW Motorrad Vision Next 100 The wonderful thing about imagining the future is that it can be beautifully optimistic and bordering on utopian, especially when designers and artists get involved with dreaming up a perfect version of something. That's kind of how the design team at BMW seem to have approached the less than catchily named BMW Motorrad Vision Next 100. A bit of a mouthful, but then again, these guys are motorcycle vision makers, not naming champions after all. They can't be expected to do everything now, can they? What you can expect, though, is the iconic brand's idea of hitting the open road in the future. Well, they reckon that both the wearing of helmets and the need for suspension is going to be left behind in favor for a brighter and safer road system. The technology of the future, they say, will be all about keeping us all safe. So that's pretty reassuring. The Vision Next 100 sports a patented flex frame, which alleges to steer the bike by flexing and making its own adjustments, and is supposed to be able to maintain flexibility during trickier maneuvers at low speeds, but it grows stiff when engaged in high-speed driving. As well as this obviously super techie concept, the bike itself has all the looks of a futuristic machine, as you would expect. It's relatively minimalist and optimized for aerodynamics, and it also features a visor, which, as well as being for wind protection, is also a personal data display screen, with all the stuff that future enthusiasts are always really into, like real-time weather updates, motorcycle health, and terrain information, all controlled by the rider's own eyeballs. Number 18. Lazarus LM847 you can call me a pessimist, because I am, but in this utopian dream world of future motorcycles, wouldn't it seem highly unlikely that a gas-greedy 4.7-liter V8 engine is unlikely as a basis for bettering the world? 
even if it does seem like it would probably be a whole lot of fun. <laughs> this great hulking monster of a super bike looks like an insane steroid pumped cartoon bike, which would likely as not be a fairly uncomfortable, although extremely powerful ride. It may not be a sleek modern beauty, but this bike has one thing in its favor. It is definitely original. With two rear tires, a transverse mounted TFX rear shock, which must upset the balance of the whole thing, surely, and a whole host of other weird and wonderful modifications that border on the insane and land mostly firmly in the realms of ugly, many of the moving parts are the opposite to the standard moving in the reverse action and presumably giving anyone who rides this bike a bit of an extra challenge. That's if they can even figure out how to sit on the beast in the first place. The Maserati engine is what gives this monstrous machine its mega powers, and given the limits that the European Union had placed on horsepower up until recent, this bike really does have some superpower indeed. But what are the motorcycle's vital statistics, you may ask? We've already mentioned it's 32-valve V8, of course, and this is what makes it possible for the Lazarus to put out an astonishing 470 horsepower. When you take into account that Europeans were limited to 100 horsepower for decades, this Colossus is going to give many a speed freak the biggest vibrations between their thighs that they've ever known. Number 17. The BMW Motorrad Concept Link Hovering between a motorcycle and a scooter, the BMW Concept Link is a futuristic wannabe style icon which aims to create, they say, a seamless link between the human and the machine. Lofty ideas, you might say. Well, these designers have decided to push it even further and incorporate the control of the bike into the rider's clothing. They're going to dress you so that you look pretty on the bike, but how very thorough it is. While it was showcased in Italy, this electric scooter is dressed up as if it were a classic Italian suit. The Link is supposed to be a design masterpiece in which all the electronics are beautifully contained within a zero emission high concept urban transportation and communication system. And it is a slick design led machine, there's no doubt. But really, is this much more than a posh scooter with a built in iPad? Who am I to say? Hop on one of these future scooters, if you can afford it, and you're guaranteed to be traveling fancy before you know it. Number 16. The Alpha Bullet Bike Design now, here's a striking design and a completely unique concept that will turn heads and possibly give the rider one heck of a buzz, and maybe just the teeniest backache as well. Beginning with a wrecked BMW K75 as the basis for the chassis, the bike's taken years to realize, gradually growing and developing, and the engine features a 740cc three-cylinder from the BMW K75, and although not currently street legal, a couple of additional modifications could get it there quite easily. The BMW Alpha Bullet's completely bizarre shape is the result of its inspiration, the Great White Shark. That's right, the bike's designer took the form and features of a sea predator in order to build a custom-made motorcycle that's unlike anything you've ever seen before. With a retro quality, the Alpha Bullet is certainly pretty pleasing to look at. It features sleek lines but classic details with plenty of chrome and leather for good measure. The idea of the Great White Shark can be seen in the shape of the machine with its sleek nose and powerful tail, and no doubt it also has a fierce bite. The designer said wistfully that the rider, quote, must be the connection between the beauty and the beast. Number 15. Kawasaki Concept J in 2013, this motorcycle gave the hopeful bike enthusiast a glimpse of a bright and speedy future. The Kawasaki Concept J was working on a few principles of motorcycling that had gone unexplored for a century. 
The general idea of the concept, Jay, was that technology is far enough along now that it really should be working for us, so this motorbike was designed to adapt to the rider rather than the other way around, which was essentially how bike engineering had worked up until this moment in history. The three-wheeler Concept J can adapt to the different riding positions and styles of any rider, from adjusting between the crouched, high-speed sport bike posture, the comfortable touring bike stance, and the town cruiser. This motorcycle shows the potential adaptability that transport of the future may be able to offer. So the Kawasaki Concept J had been created to provide an elegant and decidedly futuristic design to see just where electric bikes might be able to go. It was just a concept bike and there were no immediate plans to begin production of the machine, but given the rider's potential ability to use the one vehicle in multiple riding styles, there's bound to be a great deal of interest in the idea when it does finally hit the mainstream. Who wouldn't want to race through fast bends than enjoy the landscape from a more comfortable upright position? before casually poodling into town for a cappuccino without looking like you're off to compete in MotoGP. Number 14. Yamaha's Electric Concepts The name of these electric concept bikes, although they may sound like yet another prototype number, are actually supposed to inspire passion in the rider. Apparently, that's what the P stands for. The PES2 and PED2 are Yamaha's offerings to the world of electric concept motorcycles, and they do have something to offer, if not pure unadulterated power. No, these are the smaller end of the power spectrum, the preschool of future motorcycles, if you will. But this doesn't mean they don't pack a few punches in the snazzy features department. The street model is the two-wheeled drive PES2, which is powered by a brushless DC motor with a lithium-ion battery, whereas the PED2 is the dual sport model, with more mmm for mountain trails and the like, where its quiet electric profile makes it a perfect companion for exploring the natural environment without making a big old row about it. And it also doesn't warn those deer standing in the street. Though not great powerhouses, these little motorcycles are the electric equivalent of Class 2 or 50 to 125cc bikes and mopeds in old money. However, they are lightweight and their quietness and eco-friendly qualities give them a future edge for this utopian world we shall no doubt be inhabiting momentarily with Jeff Bezos on the moon. Number 13. Honda Riding Assist E-Motorcycle In the future, even nervous, weak, or novice motorcyclists can get involved with these Hondas. The clever dicks at Honda Development have been busy with their pencils, scratching out some designs for a fully assisted electric motorbike. This means that the bike can essentially support itself, propel itself, and balance effectively even with the most beginning of riders. The future is all about making life easier, it would appear, but at what point are we talking about self-driving vehicles rather than mere motorized transportation? The Honda Riding Assist E is definitely amongst the machines that are beginning to blur that particular line. The bike is stable and will balance itself even at very low speeds, like the speeds that a learner might manage. The future, turns out, is a sensible place indeed. Honda says this is aimed at beginning riders, which is not a bad thing, kind of like a motorcycle with stabilizers or training wheels. The difference being that it looks pretty much like a regular bike, so you're less likely to be laughed at for riding the kiddie version. Number 12. Zaku Electric Motorcycle when it would be unveiled at the famous Tokyo Motorcycle Show, the Zaku electric motorcycle was an instant crowd pleaser. Just when you thought there was nowhere else for the electric motorbike to go, these designers wheeled out a real gem. This electric bike really does look like the business, not 
quite Akira vibes, but it is pretty good looking, especially for an electric motorcycle. The custom design of the Zaku is no doubt what draws the enthusiast to the machine, but they stay interested on account of its quality insides, which knock the socks off of many other, much more boring and standard electric vehicles. The vital statistics? On a four to six hour charge, the motorbike has a range of between 55 and 85 miles which is okay for an electric motor apparently. It can also tackle speeds of up to 75 miles per hour, so although it's not going to push the limits of the sound barrier, it is just about at the respectable end of the speed limit. The thing that makes this electric motorcycle stand up above the rest is certainly its beautiful stylings, which includes an ambitious front suspension system, which is unlike anything else currently on the market in e-bikes. With the chunky good looks and classic bike feel also comes a hefty weight. The thing is 540 pounds, but frankly, for the $70,000 price tag, you're going to want something of real substance, and this sexy looking machine certainly has it. The only thing is, of course, that since it runs entirely on a battery, the rider experience is pretty different than a traditional engine powered bike, whether you can trade the powerful thrum between your legs for silent speed limited future tech is another matter altogether. Number 11. Yohammer J1 Electric Motorcycle In the pursuit of being different and making the most of the new technology in the field of electric powered personal transportation, these bright sparks at the Austrian company Yohammer have come up with a motorcycle that would not look out of place in a Pixar animation. The J1 electric motorcycle is a distinct looking machine, that's for sure. It has something of the startled grasshopper about its appearance, but classic black and silver stylings that bring it back into the realms of elegance. However, what's its credentials? Well, the main thing the J1 has going for it is range. This machine can keep on going for up to 200 kilometers. That's about 125 miles. a lengthy distance for a battery-operated object. With its emission-free credentials, extra-long battery life, and a super neat engineering concept, the J1 does stand out from the electric motorcycle crowd. You can choose the classic silver or partake of a handful of different fetching pastel options, and they all come equipped with the state-of-the-art smart tech that's built right in. In this case, your dash information is neatly found in the screens in your wing mirrors. Whether you'd actually want to sit on this thing for a full 125 mile journey is something else altogether. It has a distinctly utilitarian vibe, and I imagine that seat would be left wanting in the cushioning department, but that's just me, because I enjoy a long and comfortable ride. Number 10. Bandit 9L Concept Motorcycle a motorcycle inspired by the USS Enterprise is no doubt an original piece of engineering, and the Bandit 9L concept is nothing if not original. The product of a labor of love by its creator, Bandit 9, the L concept is unlike anything you've seen before. This one has definitely earned its place in the future of motorcycles, and yet despite the futuristic elements of this machine, it also more than nods towards past motorcycle design design and seems to revel in combining the future with history in its sleek but classically formed style. All chrome, the L concept is a clean lined minimalist machine which despite its modest Honda Super Sport 125 beginnings has morphed into a thing of beauty which has graced museums and galleries all around the world. It straddles perfectly the line between function and art. The 125cc motor itself is enclosed in the turbine-shaped part of the spaceship shell. This motorcycle pushes the boundaries with its design and its modifications, transform a humble motorbike into a desirable futuristic vehicle, perhaps even attempting to boldly go where no man has gone before. Number 9. Victory Ignition Concept 
Now, here is a motorcycle. This absolute beauty was the brainchild of custom build legend Urs Erbacher back in 2015, and it was epic. Unfortunately, the death of Victory Motorcycles may have been on the horizon even then. The ignition concept bike was so flipping good looking that you would be forgiven for thinking that it couldn't possibly have as much underneath its exterior as it promised. However, it did. It was built around a Victory's V-twin engine, a 1200cc powerhouse, with all the benefits of a cruiser. The team put together a whole bunch of features to optimize the machine's function without ever compromising on style. The bike has 17-inch aluminum wheels, which are super light and painted red, again with the substance and the style. The front and rear suspension are adjustable, and the exhaust is custom-built to be the shortest possible in order to optimize performance. And the whole thing really does look bloody nice. Somehow, this guy managed to find the perfect way to package this machine's class-leading engine in a custom drag racing-inspired style that gives a nod to the brand's past, but also to the future of motorcycle style while also staying true to his own unique vision. And just look at that paint job. Number 8. Suzuki GSX R1000 well, it's about time that the future promised a superbike that anyone could get a hold of. I mean, that is exactly what you're looking for in life, right? The Suzuki Sport Bike was first brought to life in 2001 and has received a reboot for 2021, bringing the famous brand's big performer to the weekend warriors as well as the practiced pros. This ultra-high performance machine is an adaptable beast and is easily able to handle the rigors of a country road as well as a racetrack. The 2021 version of the GSX R1000 has a compact chassis and highly aerodynamic bodywork, as you would expect from a bike that's been developed from the best in the racing world. It also sports very good suspension and has excellent brake control, which leaves the rider with a good degree of handling over the powerful, built-for-speed 998cc four-cylinder engine, which is just as well, really. This is a lot of power to have between your legs, and as we all know, with great power comes great responsibility. Number 7. Rhino Microcycle Now what in the world is this? It's clearly not a motorcycle, not really, at least not a whole one. The Rhino Microcycle is definitely named correctly. It's a one-wheeled oddity which is all about the electric. Where some of the other machines on our list have excelled in style, this one looks like the tiniest bit too weird. The positioning of the rider in a slightly odd upright position draws your mind to a Segway. And perhaps that kind of transport is indeed to which this type of vehicle is most closely related. It definitely has more in common with that than, say, a Harley Davidson. What does it actually offer though, and is the future of motorized transportation this? Well, it can do a heady 10 miles per hour, basically not much faster than walking. It is electric, and it does boast a minimum carbon footprint, which walking does as well. It's a natural upright position that's apparently most comfortable for the rider because, you know, balance is key with this sort of thing. And it's designed for city use. Judging by their promotional materials, it is good for balancing all of your healthy groceries on the back as well. Those are certainly all noble things to offer, but you can't help but notice that this is kind of weird looking. And it sure as heck won't be tearing up the tarmac. So if you like a little more throb from your motorcycle, Maybe the Rhino is just not for you. However, if you're looking for a place to perch your organic produce while waving to the neighborhood, then knock yourself out. Number 6. Yamaha's AI-Powered Motoroid Here's another one of those autonomous motorcycles that seem to be able to drive themselves without the need of a rider. Nothing at all scary about that. Autonomous vehicles seem perfectly fine. No need to be alarmed. The Yamaha Motoroid has no need for a kickstand. It propels itself without a rider. Come on, motor. 
and can also communicate with you remotely. And if you want, you can wave at it to come to your side like some kind of weird robotic dog bike. Packed full of the latest developments in artificial intelligence, the Motoroid is all about its big, clever Rob's brain and less about its motorcycle engine and power and such. I mean, why would you even need one of these things anyways when you have a machine that will come at your beck and call? The engineers at Yamaha seem to have got a complete tunnel vision about the creation of a machine that will behave like a living creature, although presumably just like an extremely well-trained an utterly obedient living one, rather than a truly autonomous one. But I digress. If your idea of a good ride is a robot that does what you say, rather than any kind of horsepower credentials, then this electric AI system wrapped up in a motorcycle shape may just be the ticket. That is, if you're looking for a motorcycle, probably not. Number 5. Full Moon Motorcycle well, the full moon is certainly an attention grabber in the style department, that much is certain. This concept machine is unlike anything else you may have seen before, but what does it actually do? Named for the big shiny front wheel, which is a sizable 30 inches of aluminum and carbon, the full moon hasn't entirely focused all of its efforts on looking good just at the front. This machine also has a curvaceous rear end. that'll leave most observers surprised, if not slightly bamboozled. It may be elegant and, depending on your personal preferences, beautiful, but it does seem to have just the teeniest bit of impracticality. Just imagine the carnage if you were to encounter a speed bump, but that is unlikely to happen. This machine is not considered street legal, so for now it's all about admiring and lavishing it with attention on the internet. But what does this machine have going on between its wheels? Well, the master craftsmen behind this design have popped an SNS knucklehead 1524cc engine and added a couple of custom made Akropovic exhausts just to make sure that the insides of this bike live up to the promise of its outsides. Add to that the completely hidden cabling and the fact that this bike has fully automated steering, and you can see why it might make it into a list of motorcycles of the future. I just wonder if it will ever get the chance to hit the open road before it becomes a motorcycle of the past. Number 4. The Dodge Tomahawk Concept Motorcycle Would you just look at the size of this thing? The Dodge Tomahawk is a monstrous machine of epic proportions and is certainly not for the faint-hearted. If anything, this bike wouldn't look out of place in a Mad Max movie, except that it's very shiny indeed and would need to get distinctly grubbier to fit in on Fury Road. No wonder it needs four wheels. The 500 horsepower engine is a Viper V10 with twin throttle bodies, which are mounted right up on the front. And this thing wails too. It has the intensely satisfying rumble of a really robust engine, and that's something you just can't beat. And frankly, all the electric bikes in the world are never going to match that feeling when a bike starts up and growls, are they? This motorcycle is so powerful that it needs four wheels just to handle it, so you can imagine the sound that it makes. That all being said, it's not available to any Tom, Dick, or Harry. Only 10 of them were ever made the original, and nine replicas. They're being sold for a staggering $550,000 each, and although completely drivable, they were in no way at all road legal. So that's a lot of cash for an erstwhile ornament. Number 3. Yamaha Motobot So this is a strange one. Not so much a motorcycle at all, rather a robot that rides motorcycles? I know it seems to make no sense. Isn't the point of motorized transportation to propel the human being? Well, usually yes, but the bright sparks at Motobot decided that they wanted to develop a robot that was programmed to perform the specific task of racing a motorbike to a level higher than the greatest human achievement in the field. Sounds a bit like cheating to me, but let's see exactly what they did. The idea was to create the humanoid robot to outperform a human's riding ability without performing any modifications on the vehicle itself. 
Motobot would then be developed as a team effort between SRI, a robotics and AI company, and Yamaha Motor Company. They used SRI's in-depth knowledge about artificial intelligence to try and map out the way that a human actually rides a motorcycle while developing the AI that would allow for the robot to learn in real time and adapt its responses to any given motorbike. It sounds tricky, right? Well, for now, it's still in the development stage, so these motobots won't be scandalizing racetracks for the moment. Number 2. The Suzuki Biplane When you come out of making claims to be the motorcycle of the future, you have to have a whole lot of expectations to live up to. So when the Suzuki Biplane was first unveiled at the 2007 Tokyo Motor Show, the interest was palpable. I mean, the fact that this motorcycle's design would be inspired by vintage biplanes does at least slightly pique one's interest. How exactly would that work? Well, as it turns out, it doesn't actually have wings, so that's a bit of a misleading name. The main inspiration may indeed be that the paint job is based on the colors of canvas of those old aircraft. So far, so meh. Perhaps the other main feature that bears a similarity to the vintage biplane is the fact that this bike has no windscreen, leaving the rider out there with the full force of the elements in their face. That and the swallowing of many bugs as well, no doubt. Number 1. Yamaha Tri-City 155 this three-wheeler may not be the sexiest thing that you can clamp between your thighs, but it is designed to be practical, if clunky looking as a commuter vehicle, so you can't have everything. The 155cc four-stroke engine may not be the most dynamic, but it is a steady one, suitable for even the novice rider. The Tri-City 155 also boasts a whole bunch of unsexy, but endlessly useful features for the modern modern office cubicle dweller. Its three wheels give enormous stability to the machine, as well as really easy steering. It has been designed for a combination of urban and highway riding, and comes with ABS and a unified brake system with disc brakes to the front and rear. The big comfy seat offers your sedentary rear end the same squishy comforts of your office chair, and there's a whole bunch of storage for your packed lunch and your nerdy briefcase. All the leaps forward in electric propelled vehicles are truly amazing, but tell me, can you really beat the thrum of a gasoline guzzling internal combustion engine? It's a controversial question to be sure, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.